Hey, it's Angela with Food Storage and Survival.com, and today we are reviewing the Solivore Sport Oven with the new reflector, uh, the TR86 reflector panels. And these are a higher grade reflector than originally came with Solivore uh, Sport Oven. They are new as of January 2017 and really a nice quality, a great reflection. They're like mirror shiny. They're really a good quality um, reflection. We're testing out, if you watched my other Solivore video, we are testing out today baking a cake again. Except in the last video it was summertime where so it was nice and hot, but I did it without the reflectors and it took about two and a half hours for that cake to bake. So this time we're doing it, it's springtime, it's cool today, I'm still in long sleeves. It's about 60 degrees right now, and we're not gonna get a whole lot higher today. We got a nice little breeze going, and so we are doing it with the reflectors today, and we'll see how this cooks today. So right now, uh, the oven has been preheating, and it's up to a little over 300 degrees. So not quite the 325 or 350 that you'd put it at in your actual conventional oven, but um, a little over 300 is not too bad. Okay, this is the cake we're doing. It's a uh, Betty Crocker, <laughs> so super simple. But I'm using a mix because I know how the mix turns out in my home oven, and so this gives me a good, just kind of a good comparison so I know what I'm looking at as I'm doing this review. Okay, so I didn't latch the lid down while I was preheating and the reflectors actually hook to the lid so it makes it easy to get in while the reflectors are on. So we're going to open it and it is quite warm in there. There we go. Drop that baby in. So one thing I noticed when I preheated this with these reflectors on today was that the plastic lid clouded up and it didn't do that when I wasn't using the reflectors. I'm not sure how much that affects the heat inside, but, but still having an internal temperature over 300 degrees, pretty good for, like I said, a spring day when we've got 60 degrees out. So we're gonna let this cook. We'll see how long it takes and see if it's any better than the middle of the summer with no reflectors, which crossing my fingers because two and a half hours to wait for cake to bake was kind of long. And I don't know that we've got two and a half hours of good sunshine left here today. So see how it goes. We'll check back in on it in a little while. Hey, we're back. Our cake is done cooking. It baked up in about 45 minutes, which is a ton better than last time without the reflectors in the middle of the summer. So um, the reflectors obviously added a little bit of he uh, extra heat and made the cake puff up nice. It's nice and tall and uh, cooked up nice and quick as well. It's only a little longer than it would take in your conventional oven. So all in all, a good deal on that one. A little bit more about the reflectors. They do come standard with every Solivore oven that you purchase now. If you have a Solivore oven and you would like the new reflectors, they're also available separately on the Solivore site. So I'll give you a link to that down in the description of this video to be able to get to the Solivore oven site. And um, so we're gonna open this up, we're gonna pack these reflectors up and put this, uh, get this cake out. And I'll tell you a little bit more about today and kind of the conditions that we cooked in. Okay, I've got you where you can see kind of a close up of how the oven hooks together and the panels hook onto the oven. There's these springs at each corner of the reflector panels and they have hooks and they hook just into little holes on the oven lid. So we're gonna take those off. And then the reflectors fold up and lay flat and they will go into the carrying bag that they come with, okay? And then we undo the little hooks, and these I showed you in my other video where I showed you the, the Solivore oven. And like I said, st I still don't love them, but they work. They hold the lid on. Okay, and then when you get in here, it actually is hot, so just be ready. 
And there's our cake. All right, just a couple more details about where we were cooking. It is about 5,800 feet above sea level here. And so we are high altitude. It's May 1st, so not summertime yet. Uh, we don't have the super high sun, but it is, it's getting there. It ranged between 60 and 62 degrees during the cooking time. And we had a nice little breeze going the whole time. That didn't seem to affect how well it cooked. All right, so thanks for joining me. And if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I've got a link to Solivore down in the description of this video. So you can go check out their stuff and appreciate them sending me the uh, new reflector panels so that I could test them out on their oven. All right, thanks and we will catch you next time. You can always find more on my blog, foodstorageandsurvival.com.